also again as stated from um, WebMD that is acne is caused by oil and dead skin cells on the skin so sometimes occasionally it will be good to do a, um, a treatment or well, not necessarily a treatment but use a product that is made to remove dead skin cells and to remove excessive oils and in the previous video I talked about soaps and um, how to wash your skin well not necessarily how to wash your skin but what products to use or the products that I use and um, just some recommendations as to what to avoid as far as the ingredients within the products so on this video I will just continue on and um, in the prevention of dry skin not in the prevention of dry skin, but in the prevention of dead skin cells and oil, um, these two products um, have helped me in my acne. Um, one of them is the apricot scrub. Now again, I got the Kmart brand, and this was two twenty nine, but the price may have increased as some of the other prices have increased um, with the um, imitation products, but. Um, this one is the Acrocrat Scrub for blemish and blackhead control for oily or acne prone skin types and it has a salicylic acid within this product and it claims to exfoliate and remove oil, dirt and dead cells and it has 2% salicylic acid um, and they say it claims to be the secret to, invisib to visible healthy skin. And so this is basically a scrub and it has apricot shells crushed within it and it comes out like such, it's kind of creamy, oops can you see, it's kind of creamy. I don't know if the original formula is like this, this formula is okay for me but um, yeah definitely a good thing to invest in, in a good thing to invest in. And taking care of your skin whether or not you do have acne or not will be a face scrub just to help remove all the dead skin cells and even if your skin is invisibly dead sometimes you can tell what type of state it's in is whether or not it it doesn't receive um, lotion very well or it takes a lot of lotion for you to get your skin to soften up that's how you can tell that you have um, dead skin cells on top just anything that will prevent your skin from receiving all of the um, all of the moisture that it can. Um, that's how you can tell that it has you have dry skin. And so um, I do not recommend off rip. I mean, not dry skin, dead skin. Excuse me. Now, if you have dead skin on your face, um, I do not recommend immediately using this. Try to continue washing your face for a few days at first and then go to this but when you do use this please um, try not to be abrasive with your use of it um, don't over scrub your face um, don't scrub your face necessarily every day especially if you have acne because that too can cause more acne because you're um, further irritating the skin so usually if I use this I probably use it like once a week if that or once every other week and um yeah so and this also has a lot of natural um ingredients in it such as apricot extract um willow bark tree extract um chamomile flower extract sunflower extract and a couple other ones which i really don't know what the real um name of it is but you know they have to have a scientific um <laughs> term on here so anyways this will be a good investment first for acne but use it as your needs <clears throat> permit and another thing that um, I use is right here is the Queen Helene mint tulip mask and um, as you see it says it helps to dry up acne pimples rinse away blackheads and shrink in large pores now um this i bought from cvs for $3.99 at the time they had a buy one get one free but um this is a good product to use just as a mask um as far as shrinking pores i felt possibly it did it a little bit i have enlarged pores right here which i really don't care about it but um i, I guess it felt 
like they were shrunk. But it does help tighten your skin because it has um, the sulfur in here and it also has, I believe it has like peppermint oil or something to that effect. But the um, bentonite definitely that helps to um, tighten the skin. And this goes on thick and creamy and it comes out in a green paste. Oops. It comes out in a green paste. See if I can squeeze it out. A green paste like that. <clears throat> and it's very thick. Definitely very thick. So I would use this if I had some time on my hand just to sit on and let it sit on my face. And you let it sit on your face till it dries. Um, but firstly, you have to cleanse your face with a soap and then put this on your face for it to work effectively. And leave this on for about 15 minutes and then you wash it off completely with a washcloth. Um, again, um, use this as you feel that you need to. If you feel that it's too strong and irritating for your skin or if you feel that your skin is too sensitive, don't use this because it may further um, prolong your problems with your skin. But um, I definitely feel like this is a good product to use. And I've been using this off and on for a little while. Um, yeah. And another thing that um, my friend actually put me to game on was using um, toothpaste. Um, if you feel like you're getting a spot that seems like it's a little sensitive, you can feel that a, bump, a bump is coming. Well, um, just take a little toothpaste, um, wet your face a little bit, and then rub it in that spot and let it sit for probably like 30 seconds to a minute. And um, the peppermint and that as well, and um, other acidic um, properties within it, it'll dry the pimple. And then you can wash it off either then or I even let it sit on all night, but I wouldn't recommend that if you don't want to wake up to toothpaste on your pillowcase. But um, yeah, just wash it off and then it usually helps to dry up that, um, the oil and the buildup within the skin at that particular spot. So that's another good tip. And I'm going to make one or two more videos. I didn't want it to get this long, but again, I told you that I would do somewhat of a review of the products as I went along. So stay tuned to the next part, which I believe it is part three. <laughs> Alright, be right back.